I'm really glad you could join me today for the conditioning class. What's going to be today is going to be concentrating on core and your arms. And of course, my core will often help my arms to do what they're meant to be doing. Okay, so I've got a set of weights. I'm going to go heavy, I'm going to go medium, and then I'm going to go light as well, depending on what my arms are doing. Um, you're going to need a water bottle, enough space to move around in, a mat, and maybe another mat for when we get on the floor. And that's all the equipment you need, and then your own body weight as well. Okay, so we're going to be working in seven minute sections. I'll do the countdown into those seven minutes, and then at the end of seven minutes, we'll start the next circuit. Okay, so let's get ready. You've got all those things with you, and just doing grabbing distance, and we will start with a warm up. Okay, so if you do a march through for me, please, a little march through. Okay, so arms, they're all coming up. Nice and strong, shoulders are back and down. Okay, give me that lift. Into the waist each time with that walk. Yeah, so I'm just grabbing that air, pulling it down into the waist. Okay, go do an elbow, elbow. Nice and strong. Good. Double those arms up. Get that squeeze between shoulder blades. Singles. Good. Then doubles. Singles again for me. Singles. Doubles. Going up on my toes. Up on your toes. Good. Now I'm going to circle those arms as I come up. Feel that flexibility through the ankles. Okay, single arms, singles. Now doubles. Singles, but this time it comes in. Good, and then doubles. I'm going to do a step touch, out and back. Good, so I'm still grabbing that air, pulling it back. Yeah, I've got another four. It's going to be a leg curl, leg curl. Good, so remember, that strong position, that cross, drive those elbows back. Feel that stretch out on the front of the thigh and that contraction on your hamstrings. Good, keep that going for me. Okay, I'm going to double it up, double it up here. Yeah, two more. I'm going to go on an out box wide. Wide, drop your weight down. Yeah, so again, feel your glutes picking you back up each time. Get a little push through on the back of the leg. Yeah, two more. Okay, now I'm going to do lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze. Yeah, we're just turning the waist. Little outside leg. Good. Now, just the knees. Good. Coming up and round. Give me that turn through the waist. Okay, with the other leg. Lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze. Yeah, one more here. Give me that little squeeze and that turn. Squeeze on the pegs, give me that turn. Okay, a little step touch again. Grabbing that air. Now, like we started, grabbing the air and pulling it down. Out again. And then the up. Okay, go circle one arm, one arm circle. Abs are pulled in, shoulders low. Now stay here to do the runner. Up on that front leg. Yeah, go another four. Well done, other side. Roll it. Good. And back, as pulled in. Then I step forward on that leg. Then I drive that knee. Good. Four, three, two, one. Okay, well done. Just give it a little shake out. Okay, I'm going to start that timer. Seven minutes of work. I'm going to go with the music as well. Okay, so I'm going to grab 
my heavier weights. I'm on my front leg, as pulled in, upright row. So, upright row and lift. Good, so make sure it's a full leg lift. Yes, give me that lift. Good, okay, so nice and strong. Don't bend at the knee. I'm going to do four more here. Four. And give me that lift. Good, then that back leg is going to come forward. You've got one more here. Keep those abs pulled in. And well done. Okay, up with the arms. Up with the leg. Good, I can really feel it that my front leg on the glute has already done a little bit of work for me. So, to keep my balance, it's all over the front leg. Don't seesaw back onto that back leg. And give me that lift. Zip and hollow on the whole time. Keep with those heavier weights if you can. You've got eight more here for me. Good. One more, two, and one, and well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, on my next one, a squat, same knee, opposite knee. Okay, I'm holding that weight, as pulled in, okay. Ready, here's your squat, squat. So the elbow does come across. Here's my thigh on my same leg. Well done. On to the other side. Squat. Same leg, opposite leg. Good, all the time, my abs are pulled in. And well done, okay, lovely. Just put that somewhere, you're not gonna stand on it. And I'm gonna come to my other weights. Region heavy, abs pulled in, it's gonna be side out to the side. Ready, single, now the double. And again, good, single, single, notice where my arms don't get longer, so lift up from those shoulders. Good, and give me that lift, outside the shoulder, try and keep with that heavy weight. Good, up, up with one, up with the other, give me that lift. All the time, my abs are being pulled in to keep me sitting back on my heels. Okay, let's do two more here. And here you go. And well done. Okay, lovely. Put those down. Go back to your other weights. We're starting at the beginning again. Okay, so I'm getting that lift. Get me that lift. Get me the lift from the leg. Abs are pulled in. Good. Whole leg lift. Shorter set this time. We've only got 240 left. And well done. Okay, give me that lift. Lift of the leg. Weight still over your front leg, abs are still pulled in, back to the shoulders to get that lift. Good, give me the lift. Okay, four, three, two, one, and well done. And then I kept that weight 
Squat lift, okay. Squat. Good, down. Good, drop. Good, two more on this side. And quick turn. Over to the other side, good. Drop it. Up nice and tall. With that arm. Four more here. Try and keep with that heavier weight if you can. Under control. Let your core do the work. One more. And good work, well done. Picked up my slightly lighter weight. I've got a minute left. There's gonna be no shoulders. So I'm here. Okay, ready? Singles out. Single. Single. Then make it a double. Double. Sitting back on your heels. Give me that lift. Good, so I'm using my upper back to get that lift out. Still keeping those medium heavy weights, maybe a three or four kilogram if you've got it. Good, you only last 15 seconds now. Then we finished our first seven minutes. You've done really well. Okay, lift. Good, last few seconds now. Three, two, one. Okay, good work, well done. Okay, I'm moving on. Okay, my first one is going to be a pike. Touch one foot, touch the other, walk out into a um, bridge and then come back again. with your plank, whichever one you want. So again, it's going to be pike, touch your feet, touch my foot, walk out, and then walk back in again. Okay, lovely, good. Then we're going to have a lunge. So I'm going to do the lunge, then the lunge and the lift, and my palm is out. So try and make a fairly heavy weight. It's all about that core as well. Okay, lovely. Then I'm going to go lighter weights, just because of the repetition. Back, here, down. One, two, three. Okay, so inside and my back and my triceps. Okay, so what you'll need now is that you'll need, I'm going to go with that heavier weight, forget my mediums, and then go straight into my light weights, but I'll count it as we go. Okay, are we ready? My first one, just my own body weight, I'm going to use that pike into plank. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, not forgetting to put your timer on. Here we go. Okay, so I'm in a pike. I come back, I come back, I go down into my plank. Come back, come back, down into my plank without having to drop my lower back. Hold that plank for me. Good. So you do have to move your hands a little bit to get into that brick or that plank. I go between the two descriptions, sorry about that, for people who only use that one. Good, so again, down into your plank. One more. And then we're into our lunge. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, so bring it in. Don't come up too fast. You've had your head down. Okay. One lunge. My arm is forward. Okay, so one lunge, stay, give me that lift. Okay, one lunge, stay, give me that lift. One lunge, and then that lift. Remember where your front leg is stopping. So 
I'm staying with that. Long lever, palm to the front. Let's do four more on this side. Do me the drop. Good, so again, drop down into your lunge. Give a little bounce there, and then up. One more. And good work, okay. I'm gonna change it, just go show you from the front. Okay, so do me that drop into that lunge and then that lift and then up. Drop into the lunge, give a little bounce there and then that lift, drop down. Give me that lift, coming up. Yeah, so palm forward. So I have to really use that long straight arm and the work is coming from the outside of my shoulder. Good, I've got two more here. One more. Corporal in the whole time. Okay, good work. Now I'm gonna go light on this one. Okay, four minutes left, you've already done three minutes. Okay, I'm here with that pull back. Pull back, pull back and lift, turn it and then come back. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, give me that lift, that pull back, that straighten, my turn it. Good, so again, both parts of my triceps here to lift and then to bring in. And so I've got lighter on the weights, I've got that long weight out. Good, my abs are pulled in. Give me that lift, bring it in. Good, so by the time I've finished, my palms are towards the ceiling. I've done that kick back, kick back, and I've turned it on that kick back. Good, up. Good, let's do one more here. And you're down to three minutes. Okay, lovely, good. Leave it all there, pike to plank. Okay, ready? Three of our weights. We're in our pike, we're up high. Touch, touch, come down. Walk it back. Good, weights back on your leg. Core here to come down. And it's over my pecs as well, obviously and then pushes me back up. Give me two more now. Good. This is your last one. Well done. Okay, coming up. If you come with that heavier weight, Okay, a lunge, lunge and lift, up, lunge, little bounce, lift it out, three, good, palm forward, good, you have got two more after this, one more, down drop, Give me that lift, good, straight arm. Okay, lovely. Stick with that heavy weight, it's only eights this time. Okay, down into your lunge. Into your lunge, a little bounce. Lift out from your shoulder. Down to your lunge, lift. Two, good, my core is pulled in the whole time. I stay even, three, between my two legs. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, and well done, good. Then I went to my lighter weights. Okay, 41 seconds now, here we go. Pull back, pull back, lift, turn, and into the center. Good, and my core is keeping control of all this. Good. Pull. Yeah, have we got that? Up. Turn. Feeling it on the inside of that tricep. Good. Pulling it 
it back. Really working those shoulders, working those triceps. You're on your last few. And well done, good. Okay, lovely. Okay, now my next set. Whew, grab that little bit of water. Okay, it's all going to be on the floor. And I'm going to take so my medium heavy weight close to me to have that when I'm sitting down. Okay, so commando plank. Okay, so it's a tough one. You can do it on your knees or on your toes. Up to you. Okay, so it's here. Okay, so on my one, I'm going to go down and down, up and up, or if you can, down and down, up and up. I'm going to do four on one arm, four on the other. Then I'm going to come round and I'm going to do a Russian twist with that medium heavy weight. Okay, so if you've got your mat, I'll put another mat on just to help my knees and we'll get going. Okay, and you've already started. Okay, so we're dropping down, we're coming up. That's one. Try not to swing your hips, two. So really make it about your core as well. Three. Four. Remember, this can be on your knees. One. Two. Three. Four, and well done. Okay, sitting on your mat. My Russian twist. Down on one side, up on the other. Feet on or off. So it's here, and then up. And I'm gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Okay, here we go. One, two. Look at your weight. It's a slow drop. Well done, have to change. Go up, go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my core is stabilizing me, but my obliques are moving me. Okay, lovely. Everyone's over onto their front now. And again, you have the option. Here on your knees, shoulder T, or full. Okay, so coming with me. Ready, here we go. Good, nice and strong. Four, don't rush it, hold that end. Five, don't make your bottom come up in the middle here. Six, just rock on your feet. Seven, you can do this on your knees. Eight, just to twist your body a little bit more. Nine. Ten, keep going. Eleven. Twelve. We're going for twenty. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen, really think about that core. Eighteen, really get that lift. 19, 20, and well done. Okay, lovely. I'm back to my own body weight. I'm in that commando. Plank, or on your knees. Are we ready? Here we go. Have your feet slightly wider than your hip. Drop it down, come up. One. Really keep those abs pulled in. Two. Three. Four, then I changed arms. Going down, come back up, one. Don't let your lower back sag, two. Really keep those abs pulled in. I can feel it around my waistband, three. Four, lovely, good. Then I'll bring that weight with me. I do that Russian twist. Feet on or off the floor. You choose, okay, ready, and drop, lift, one, two. Do give me that twist, three, four, Five, good. Six, I'm keeping that zip and hold on. Seven, eight, legs on or off the floor. Nine, 
10, comes down and squeezes, squeeze on the other side and get ready to go. One, two, three, four, five. You have three minutes left. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, lovely. Over onto your fronts, full T or with your knees on the floor. Okay, are you ready to go with me? Here we go, abs pulled in, my bottom's low. Okay, here we are, one, two, three, four, five. Good, feel strong there, six. All your weight going through that one arm, seven, and those feet. Eight, nine, 10. Good, get on that lift. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You're now to two minutes left. 17, 18, 19, 20, good work, well done. Okay, let's go straight to that commando. Abs, pecs, on your knees or off. Ready? And here we go. I'll be counting them down. One, two, two, not swing those hips. Three, that's it, feeling control. Four, other arm. One, really feeling it now, through my core. Two, that waistband is having to do a lot of work. Three, one more. Four, well done. Taking that weight with me. Down to your last minute. Okay, good work, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Do get that turn and squeeze each time. Okay, turn and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's do this. Okay, 28, 27, 26. We're about 25 now. Okay, into my shoulder tees. Five, six, seven, eight, can we get to at least ten? Nine, ten, and we're there. Okay, good work. Brilliant, well done. Okay, I'm on my last section. Okay, these are all going to be uh, on the floor. And you might be glad to hear, we don't start working on pegs. Okay, so, on my first one, it's the side bend, it's the side bridge rather, should I say. And my triceps are coming into action again. Okay, so, on my bridge, I'm going with my medium heavy weight. Okay, so we're going to do some bridges here, up and down, so I'm checking that that shoulder is not moving around. Then it's the tricep, like that. Okay, lovely, good. Now I'm going to come onto my backs. This is, I'm afraid, pecs a little bit. It's that fly where I bring my knees in. I'll explain it as I go. And then my other one is I'm working out with an inch worm, tap, tap my shoulder, work my weight back up. So again, it's still about my core. Okay, so let's start on that side bridge. So remember the things about the side bridge, you're nice and straight. Make sure that underneath is working for you. Okay. Okay, so my weight's here. One, two, three. Check your shoulder. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold me up on the ten. Okay, behind your head. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Okay, one, two, three. Watch this shoulder, four, five, six. You can have your hand on it if you need seven, eight. All the push comes from underneath. Nine, ten. Okay, behind my head and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And well done. Okay, lovely. Onto your backs. I'm picking those heavier weights because I am on my back. I'm going to do that fly. What's left of my fly? I do my reverse curl in. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. So your arms go out. Keep that bend at the elbow. Make sure your lower part of your leg is not lifting up. Do not do this. 12. And good work, well done. Okay, good work. My right, inchworm out. If you need to drop your knees at the end, do. So I'm going to touch my shoulder whilst I'm in my plank or my plank with my knees down on the floor and then back up again. Okay, so it's under control. Again, if you need to bend your knees on the way down, do. Okay, so ready. We are going to come out into our inchworm here. Touch, touch. Three, four, come back. And up. Down again. Hold that bridge. Don't swing the hips. Good. Bring it back and up. Walking it out. Good. Up. <coughs> Good. Down. You can drop your knees if you want to. And up. Nice and strong. Give me that little squeeze on the glutes at the end. Good, you have 10 seconds left on this one. Just going for time. Good. And well done. One, two, three, four. Okay, good work, lovely, well done. We're on our side, on the other side. Okay, so my side bridge. One, two, three, four. Five knees to stack. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up and drop behind your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. Really keep that zip and hold on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Watch that shoulder. Ten. Hold it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And well done. Okay, lovely. Picking up those heavier weights for me. So that's going to be that pec squeeze with that fly. Ready, here we go. When I come out, that's where my knees feel like that. Two. Yeah, just really feel it when you get to the top. If you've only got a light set of weights, I suggest you squeeze those weights at the top. We need to get those pecs working for you. Good, we are halfway through. Keep control of those arms as they go down. Good, you have five left. 
five, four, three, two. So this is about pecs. My next one's also about pecs. One. Okay, good work. Of course, with my core helping me. Okay, my last one. And it's your last exercise as well. It's that inchworm. Okay, so are we ready? One minute, five seconds of exercise. Okay, lovely. We're going out. I hold it. Two, three, four. Squeeze. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, so this time I'm just working on time and you have 34 seconds left. Good, remember this is your last one. So if you can, get that full plank out do. Good, and squeeze to come up. Yeah, we can fit in the last few now. I can do at least another one here. Okay, here we go. And good work. Okay, well done. Good work. Okay, so I'm going to start my stretches out. This time just on my knees. If you can, sit right back on your knees. If you can't, you don't want to, just push your bottom back. Okay, good work, well done. We've done all the hard work, it's just the stretching out now to do. Okay, so if you are here, forward on the floor, walk the hands forward and really get that upper back stretch. Remember those arms did work for us today, either stabilizing us or lifting weights. Okay, well done, and then I'll come forward. I'm going to do that hurdle stretch, just forward. There we go, sink down into it. Remember, it's in the middle, so my shoulders are over my hips. And I just feel my weight going down the whole time. Sip and hollow on. Okay, lovely, then sitting back, pushing the hips back. And then again, you can sit all the way back if you want to on that one and then bring forward, or if you feel that your knees don't want to open out that much, leave them where they are. Okay, so I'm just slowly going down over it. Then I come underneath, do my glute stretch, and it's down, I'm down on the floor, and now you can drop it out to the side if you want to. Okay, lovely, coming up into the centre. I'm just going to hurdle with the other leg. So, take a hurdle and then a sink into the middle. Just dropping that down the whole time. My zip and hollow is on. And I'm getting that sink. So it's really right over that hip flexor, down into the front of that thigh. Just my weight sinking all the time into the middle as that leg stretches off a little bit more. Okay, then I come back, I can stay up here, or I can drop right back, depending on how your, that front knee feels. And then I am coming down over it. Just feel that your hip is right back, that you've almost dragged that leg back with you to drive the hip back before you get that dip down over. Okay, lovely, then I come up, and here we are, down. And then slowly, pushing your hips out. Okay, well done, I'm going to come into the middle and I'm going to do that downward dog. So remember, you can have your feet out or straight back behind you, whatever you feel works for you. But what I want you to do is feel that upper back stretch still, really pushing your palms into the floor, those heels of the palms and getting your weight back over your legs and then pushing so your head is in between your arms. Okay, lovely, bend the knees, and I'm coming up, and then I'm slowly unrolling on that, all the way up to the top, little roll around of the shoulders, and then a little tricep stretch on one side for me. Okay, lovely, tricep stretch on the other side, 
just feel that your knees are soft, dropping down, just check behind you, a little swoosh, and come up, and two, and come up, last one, and come up, just arms nice and loose, then they come into here, the big breath in, and then breath out, give a little shake through, and very well done, core and arms today, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you again next time, okay, bye-bye for now.